from my world of metaphysics bringing you another law of attraction and metaphysical lesson today i want to speak to you about your imagination and the law of attraction again imagination and the law of attraction this is very important for those out there that's trying to be deliberate creators and manifest the life that they want and, and fulfill all the dreams that they desire your imagination is the secret that's all you need to know God made us like in in the likeness of his image and that is using our imagination we are able to think and imagine and create all that we desire here on earth if it wasn't for our imagination everything that we see here that is created will not be here it was through your imagination that you are now driving in your car. It is through imagination that we are living in houses. It's through imagination that we use electricity to um, light up our homes and, and um, do everything else that we um, have it doing. It's through our imagination that we created a book or, became, or, or took, took the lead and became whatever we are in our lives. It was through our imagination. It was there first before it was um, before it was created or um, manifest into reality. We are creators. Everything starts from your imagination. The law of attraction depends on your heart and your imagination. Now, when I say imagination, I don't tell people to go and just live in the past or live in Lululand. I'm talking about being a deliberate creator, one that sets the time out to sit there and decide what they want, rationalize, write out what they want, figure out what they want, and then imagine it coming into pass. Actually feeling, enjoying, having fun, like if you want that car, sit in that car, imagine in your mind that you are walking in the dealer and the dealer, um, the salesman greets you and shakes your hand. Feel his hand in your hand. See it. Just like if it was real. Be a child. Be childlike. I can't express that more. Most metaphysicians always express, always mention, be childlike. Enjoy. What do children do? They imagine. They imagine imaginary friends. They imagine. Their imagination is so vivid and wild. That's how you have to be when you're mad, when you're visualizing whatever it is you're trying to manifest in your life. The law of attraction works through your imagination. You have to see it first in order for you to make it a reality in your life. Now, back to that example about that car. You're going to go into the dealer, you're going to see the salesman's hand shaking your hand, feel the texture of his hand. Maybe his hand is rough and, and he needs to put some lotion on his hands or something, I don't know. But just feel it, use your imagination, laugh at it, whatever it is that, that brings joy to you. Let him show you the car and you walk around it, sit in it and smell the new leather and just feel the steering wheel. Look at the ceiling, is there a sunroof or not? Whatever it is, is um, and get out and, and, and walk around it and, and let him tell you the figures and hear what he's saying and um, show feelings, excitement or whatever. Feel it and do it a couple of times, okay? And, and until you manifest it into your life. Your imagination, it what's, it's, it's what sets the law of attraction out there. It attracts to you what you want. Remember, once you state it and you imagine it, it's already done. It's just a matter of time before it manifests in your life. Now, the reason some people don't get what they're asking for they either, they either give up, become lazy, and don't go after what they want. I tell people, don't think the law of attraction, I just say something and something's going to pop up. It may happen. Believe me, it may happen. Your faith may be that strong that it may happen, okay? But for most of us, for the majority of us, that's not what how it works. Like me, I wanted my townhouse. I went out with my mom. It was a joy. It was fun. We went out and we just rode around. And, and, and I already imagined what I wanted. 
And we rode around looking for what I wanted. And then I came here and I was like, oh my God, this is very expensive. I'm just sightseeing. And it was fun because I wasn't ready to buy at that time. And I got that feather. And then a year and a half later, I'm in the same townhouse that I walked in and I got that feather. Unbelievable. The law of attraction works itself out. Gave me the, the, the I bought at the right time. I got a $10,000 um, um, discount. It gave me a, um, uh, what do you call it, mortgage lender who they no longer use. I was the last one he used and he made sure my deal went through. God put into place everything that needed to work out for me to get my place. Your job is not how it's going to happen. And I tell people, it's not how it's going to happen. It's you create it. And how you create your life is by using your imagination. Take time. Sit in the dark, sit in peace, or sit with the lights low, and just have fun imagining what you want. Now, I don't tell you to go out there and just imagine stuff. Sit down, figure out first what it is actually you want. Write it out, look at it, what's missing? Because believe me, people, I'm gonna tell you this for once and for all. You can manifest, but after you manifest it, that doesn't mean it's perfect for you. You told God that's what you want, and God gave it to you. Good or bad, you got what you asked for. Some people might want a car. They get the car, now you can't afford the car. Okay? It happens. I got my Range Rover. I don't have it anymore. I have the, um, the Volvo XC90. Um, and I didn't have it for, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a, um, a luxury car for like a year after I had the um, Range. I kept the Range for about two years. But went to the dealer. They wanted $2,000 just for brakes. I said, how? Oh, we only replaced the brakes and rotors. No, you're trying to rip me off, okay? And, and I was like, I can't ride around here um, spending $2,000 on brakes and rotors. You, I mean, that's ridiculous, okay? So, and at that time, I had the building was going on. Everything was there, but I was working my way out of everything that was going on. So I said, you know what? Let me get rid of the car for now. At the same time, what I'm telling you, you can manifest things in your life. That doesn't mean two years from now, that's gonna be the right thing for you. I knew for myself to let it go. And then when it got time, I could have brought another one. And I said, no, not right now. Let me go get my Volvo XC90. And I got my car. And I told you the story. If you don't know that story, you can go back on that video and look at that video. But what I'm trying to say, your imagination is the path to manifesting your dreams. Your imagination. Have fun. But I'm telling you, know what you want. Just don't go out there imagining things and, and not knowing what you want. If you want that job, know that that's the job you want. Don't get that job and then all of a sudden you find out that, you know, it was the worst thing that you ever did. You want your job and you want it to be for the best of everyone involved. When you imagine that job, you want to imagine yourself being happy. Happy people, not just having it, but to be happy and imagine yourself being compensated for what you're doing at a, at a, at a salary that, that you figure that is perfect for you. Okay, so you just don't want to imagine having a job. You want to imagine it with the correct salary, with the correct coworkers, the friendly coworkers. You want to imagine this. I can stay up to two o'clock in the morning reading or doing whatever I need to do for metaphysics. That's just me, okay? So I said, you know what? Why not use my talents and my um, passion to do something that I really like, okay? Why not? use that and see where it takes me okay so what i'm telling you is use your imagination but know what you want know what you want i can manifest a lot of things in my life selling houses buying houses getting cars getting jobs but at the same time once you have it is it what makes you happy okay so i'm just telling you things that i did so that you can do it too and do it even better than what i did okay your imagination is the pathway to you manifesting what you want. Your imagination and the law of attraction goes hand in hand. I'm not even speaking on the heart yet because that plays a big part in your manifesting. 
the more your emotions are in it, the more the feelings and the desires are in it, the faster it will come about into your life. I'm telling you, your imagination will get you there. It is the seat to creativity. Use it and use it wisely. Don't use it on negative thinking and negative things that in your life, imagining things that happened to you in the past that no longer is for you. Leave the past in the past. And if you got people around you that is talking about your past, you need to leave them alone too. Because they're only talking about things that you don't no longer want in your life and you don't need it. Okay, so my thing is your imagination, use it. Sit there and feel and sense and smell. Or use all your senses to imagine what you are trying to create in your life. Again, try to know exactly what you want. There's room for changes, but you need to spend some time and practice and see what it is that you want, that you truly want, that's going to make you happy. Okay, so this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, bringing you another Law of Attraction metaphysical lesson from the girl next door. Today I spoke to you about imagination and the Law of Attraction. Let's, keep, let's continue to be deliberate creators and create the lives that we know is ours by divine right. The God in me is with me. The God in me opens all doors to all that there is. I walk boldly forward knowing that my dreams are coming true and that it's already here for me to take and to have as my divine right. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release everything to the universe and so it is.